Right, so we've got a steel MS391 in for service. Just a little mini service, it's not a big proper service. So I know this runs. I've uh, quickly fired it up and it uh, it runs. Yeah, with most chainsaws that come in, the teeth are pretty smashed off. So yeah, that's not going to cut very well at all if it will focus. Not sure what this green shit is on here either. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get it stripped down. Get everything blown off and cleaned up. And then uh, tear into it a bit more. Right, so we'll start by removing the bar and chain. Side so cover off. Again, we'll get that good clean out. So we already know the chain needs a good sharpen. Just going to inspect it now for anywhere. Bad drivers, bad links, etc. But this looks like a newish chain, so we'll give that a bit of a clean up as well. Get some uh, resin remover on it and then get a wire brush on it. Get it a bit cleaner. Let's have a look at the state of the bar. That's mushroomed out there, if you see. So any lips that are mushroomed over, I call it. Yeah, I can feel it all the way along. So we're gonna to need to dress this bar up. All right, so we've blown the cover off, got that clean. So that's that done as well. We've also blown this off as well, just give it a wipe down. So we'll check the sprocket for wear. This one's definitely worn. But I'm not sure if I'm going to replace it or not. I don't think they use it enough to warrant it replaced. That will still drive fine. So yeah, probably won't bother replacing that. But normally, if this was for a person I didn't know, I would replace that sprocket. Just for peace of mind. Right, so let's uh, get in behind here and have a look at the clutch. And the uh, bearing. It doesn't want to come off very easily. Does not want to come off. Oh, there we go. Inspect the bearing. Looks good. We'll get that greased. Check the drum for wear inside. We'll get this wiped down as well. Cleaned up. Probably why I didn't want to come off, loads of crap in it. So yeah, happy with this drum, I say, like I say, it is. It is worn. But I'm not going to replace this one. That'll still drive fine. It's got enough meat on the top of it. But like I say, normally I'd replace it. All right, so inspect our clutch. Springs look good. See, so yeah, I'm probably not going to bother taking the clutch off and stripping it down. It's not really any need. But I will get this bearing greased up. And I'll give this a bit of a blowout as well. Just a quick look at my brake band as well. Nothing appears to be. All appears to be working. Yeah, it looks good. A bit of clean rag. Just put a little light layer of grease. 
the shaft. Only a tiny bit. Bearing. Can go back on. Final wipe out for the drum. And that can go back on as well. And that little notch lines up with. See that little metal bit right in there? Hopefully you can see it. Probably not because of the light. But yeah, lines up with the uh, oil pump worm. On. Oops, don't lose my clip. So that's that all taken care of. Now I'll check it's all in now, so I'll uh, go and fire this up, make sure it's uh, getting oil. we've got oil in there which we haven't not a lot we'll give this o-ring a wipe down as well it's got any debris on it sometimes it can uh, hinder the seal try and clean out some of this muck here as well Get a bit of oil in it. I'll go and run it up. Check there's oil coming out of here. See, I've just run it up outside, oiling fine, so that's good. So now we can tear into the top. Out. If it was not too bad, give it a blow out. So I'm just going to carefully wipe any uh, small dust off this. And that looks alright. It's a bit of a blowout as well now with the air filter on. Put it on to choke as well just to make sure. I'll just give the cover a little wipe down. So a little quick look at the spark plug as well. Again, yeah. No great carbon build up. Nice brownish colour. Yeah, happy with that. I'll give that a little tickle with the wire brush just to clean it up a bit. Like I say, this you don't have to change a spark plug every time. I'm wasting bloody money. Obviously, if this was a customer who was paying. For a proper service though, yes, obviously I would change the spark plug, but uh, yeah, this is a different kind of service. This is kind of like a service for a friend, if you know what I mean. As quick and as cheap as possible. That's done, that's done, that's done. Let's just quickly whip the recoil off. Just check everything under here.
And again, we'll give this a little bit of a scrape out and blow out. Try and force some WD-40 down into that. So look at the rope. Rope looks good. Still a bit of life on that. Spring it back fine. So yeah, we'll get this blown out and a bit cleaner. Right, so we've given that a light little blow out. Likewise with that, make sure all these are clear. Put a bit of WD-40 into down into that spring, just in there wherever it can get in. Let's get this back on. me bloody tools I normally finish these with hand by hand just so I don't strip the threads up that's good right so that's done check the spark plug filters all right we're not gonna bother replacing that clean that any vibration maps are there working which is good all right so we're ready to Get back together and get the chain on and give it a sharpen. Back on. Just do them hand tight. We'll tension the chain. We'll make it a little bit tighter because we're going to be sharpening it. So lift the tip up and then wind me a tensioner in. And just when it kisses, a little tweak. Turn our nuts down. Probably do with the new bar, and these rails feel very sloppy. But uh, be good enough. 